On this video, I'm gonna try to focus a little bit on the gear that I use to record my videos. The GoPro Hero 9 on my helmet, now still GoPro Hero 9 on the chase cam. Hero Session on my foot and GoPro Max. <laughs> behind us all right welcome everybody we're back going to sick leaf again it's about an hour and 15 minutes drive i want to do some inland flying but yes not today so right now i'm using my canon m50 then i have the black magic i take all my b-roll with it because obviously it's super super big and i don't want to take this in flight with me at least not for now but anyway we're gonna drive a little bit we'll get to the location and then i'll run you through my entire setup on my helmet on my chase cam on my selfie stick I have a bunch of different cameras when I'm flying, so it's not necessary, but it's fun to have because you get so many different angles. So anyway, all right, let's fly and then I'll see you guys later. Woo! Dude, it's a beautiful day outside, man. Oh yeah, good, good, good. Oh yeah, it's beautiful right now. Wow. All right, before we talk about the gear, I just got here, Josh is right here. I'm gonna set up my car motor first, prime the engine, start it, let it warm up a little bit, and then set up my camera. So camera number one, GoPro right here, I have the helmet camera that I'm gonna be using. Then for the B-roll, I'm gonna be using this beast right here, the Blackmagic 4K. And then I have, I have the Chase Cam, and I have another one I'll show you later, it's gonna be the GoPro Max. Let me just set up, unpack, set myself on the beach, and then we'll back at it. All right, talking camera, there's one more that I forgot to mention is the one right here. GoPro Hero Session and the mount, it's like spider, I can't remember, spider something. All right, so I'm gonna go test out the charger wing. There's no wind and I would rather have some because the runway is short. Okay. One, two, three. Let me give you a quick rundown of the cameras that I have. I have them laid out right here. So the first one, it's my drone right here, Mavic 2 Pro. It's not the one with the zoom, it's the one with the one inch sensor. Love that drone. It's a little pain in the butt to set up and everything, but it's always useful if you wanna get some cinematic shots of the environment that I'm flying at. So number two I have right here, the GoPro Hero Session, the shoe mount. You can buy it on the website, PPG Supply, it's 12 bucks. Uh, it's flexible, so it's really cool because the one I used to have before was super stiff. You couldn't bend your foot foot without hurting. This one is super flexible and honestly it stays on the spot. It never goes anywhere. It never lost the GoPro with that mount. I lost the GoPro this one a couple times. I'll put a video up here. Then I have the GoPro Max. Love this one for 360 shot. For the most part when I fly uh, I put I sit on top of the selfie stick. You have some really really cool shots. And then I have GoPro Hero 9 which is right here. That's one. This one I install it on the chase cam that I got on Smoke PPG. Now, there's a big problem to me, this GoPro is too heavy for that chase cam right here because the hang points dots that you have um, are not far forward enough. So I had to create new ones in order to keep it balanced, the angle that I wanted. Cause I don't want to balance flat like this. I want to balance a little bit up so it gets the wing and 
myself when I'm flying. So GoPro Hero 9 right here. Then I have another GoPro Hero 9, which is right here. And this one, as you may notice, has the mod. So the mod is a must if you wanna record with the GoPro Hero 9 on your helmet and have the microphone linked to it because it does not work with the adapter, the 3.5 millimeter adapter, does not work with the Hero 9 as far as today. So the Hero mod is the one thing that you need. The sound quality is even better than the 3.5 uh, millimeter adapter. And then the last camera, but not least, is this one right here, is the Canon M50. This is just for the vlogging, it's super small, it shoots 4K, it's easy to take wherever you want. You can replace lenses if you want to. I only have this lens and it works perfect for my use. And now the one that I'm recording with right now is the Black Magic, which you can see right here. I have the screen that I put facing up so I don't look at myself when I'm recording. And uh, I use the microphone, the Micro Rode wireless that is right here. And then the other one is hooked right here. Yeah, that's the camera that I use. So now some people are gonna ask me, why do you have so many cameras? I mean, there's no really a need for that, but once you start flying and you get comfortable with the flying, you focus less on the flying, I don't know if it makes sense. You get more comfortable and you get to enjoy, to have a different perspective on everything you see. I like to record those perspectives. So this one I put on my foot and it's mostly to get a view from, obviously from below. I can see the wing, I can see a little bit of myself. 360, I love it. You get a point of view that nobody gets. It's really easy to export. It's really easy to edit quick version of your footage of your flight on your phone. Hero 9, I don't see much difference with the Hero 8. To be honest with you, I'm waiting for the lens, the mod lens that's gonna come out that gives you a wider angle and a couple other features. The battery seems a little better. The front screen, honestly, when I'm flying, I don't really care for it. Now, let me know in the comments section down below if you want me to do a video about the settings that I have to record my videos on the GoPro, on the GoPro Hero Max, on the drone, on the vlogging, all the stuff. I'll make a separate video for that. But if you wanna know those things, just let me know in the comment down below and I'll be more than happy to make a video about that. So, two Hero 9. One for my helmet, one for the chase cam. Hero session, that goes on my foot. 360, that goes with me in my flying pad. Let me give you a quick look. The GoPro Hero 9 on my helmet, it looks just like this. Now still GoPro Hero 9 on the chase cam, it looks like that. Hero session on my foot, it looks like that. And GoPro Max, either way, holding it or sitting on it, it looks just like that. the Canon M50, which is just for vlogging. Sometimes I have a mic on top of it. I'm gonna check my engine and my paramotor after my flight that I just finished. I have drone footage, obviously. And we have the Blackmagic, which I'm recording with right now. And that was it for today, guys. Let me know if you guys have any question about any of those cameras. Let me know if you want a video about the settings that I use. Put the notification bell on so you know when the next video is coming. Remember, I'm posting at least once a week. And remember, when I reach 2,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away a full helmet setup that will come with uh, Bluetooth and push to talk visor, like a brand new one. I'm gonna put the video again right here. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe, it really helps the channel. Thank you for watching, fly safe, and don't forget to stay bad.